Hello, Charlie McGee with some ukulele tips. Uh, in the last video, I showed you the basic strumming up, down, up, down technique. But in this, I'm just gonna cut straight to the chase and go into some gypsy jazz minouche styles. Just, you know, jump into the deep end. You've got a C chord, you've got the down, up, down, up thing. We're gonna go straight to gypsy jazz. Now, the C chord being the easiest chord in the universe is like that, but we're gonna go to a I don't even know what that chord is. D minor 6, I think. Which sounds really nice, but uh, it's a little tricky to get. And uh, if, if you're absolutely struggling, you can cheat and just get your second finger and uh, go up to the 5th fret and just bar it. Which, you know, sounds similar, but it's not quite. So the D minor 6 chord is basically that, but your top string, you're going to fret the 4th fret instead. So it goes, if you're talking tab, it goes 4... Five, five, five. So that means fourth fret, fifth fret, fifth fret, fifth fret. You can kind of squeeze your fingers together like that to do it. Or you can do two fingers like that or whatever works for you. Whatever presses those strings down onto those frets to get your D minor six chord. And that's a very jazzy chord. So I'm going to start with that one to teach you my technique anyway of uh, Django Reinhardt's Gypsy Manouche style. So, as you saw in the last video, we had the down, up, down, up, down, up, and you know, it's really important to just get that rhythm kind of internalized. Don't think about it too much, just feel it. And um, so if we just do that straight, I'm going to go also from one finger strumming to two or three fingers strumming. So you put your fingers together and you kind of just, it kind of gets you a bit more volume. So from one finger to three, it doesn't matter if they don't hit it every time, but it, just if you use that whole, you know, big bit of your hand, you get a bit more volume. So we're going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, like we saw in the last video. But we're swinging it. And then making every second downstroke a little bit quieter than the last one. And then we're going to do something called a mute, which gives us that chunky sound. And it's literally called chunking, I call it chunking, because it sounds like a chunk, 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 chunk. So to do that, you've got your downstroke, but as soon as you get to the bottom of the strings, you want to put your the palm of your hand onto the strings to mute it. So you get this kind of muted, you know, really quick sound. And you want to get that so quick that it, there's almost not a chord. It's just a rhythmic thing. So you're kind of, you're kind of strumming and then muting. So it's just this chunk. So every second downstroke is going to be down, chunk, down, chunk, down, chunk. Ooh, see what I did there? Up, down, chunk. So if you let your fingers drag up on the way back, you get this nice kind of swung thing. So just practice that again. Down. So your hand's going up anyway, you might as well make it hit some strings. And then if you speed that up... It's starting to sound pretty jazzy. The one last thing to do, if you're, uh, you know, if you're feeling super coordinated, which, let's face it, I'm not the most coordinated person in the world, so you should be able to do it too. Um, you want to use this hand, your chord hand, to kind of pulse on the fretboard. So see I'm kind of pushing down and up onto the frets at the same rhythm as the the strumming. So what that's going to do, that's just going to enhance the chunk. It's going to kind of give it extra mute that uh, you'll hear what it sounds like. So without doing that it sounds like right? But if I start pulsing one, two, three, four. See what it does? It kind of cuts them short and so that's going pulse 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 and the other hand's going down chunk down chunk down chunk so you speed that up Ooh. That's just going, sliding everything down one. 
and uh, sliding it up again. Anyway, that's probably enough weird jazz for now. Happy chunking.